Cops, central organization of police specialists. Fighting crime in a future time. Protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks. Iron Cop and Wooden Crooks. Cops File 41050 had its beginning some months ago when robot instant justice machines were introduced to Empire City. In a plot by Big Boss to replace the cops. Oh, thank you, and have a nice day. But the evil scheme was foiled when one machine, codenamed Jim, helped cops turn the tables on Big Boss. Say, do you think I'd be a good cop, too? As a reward for his heroic help, Jim was reprogrammed and sent to Empire City Police Academy, where he graduated with top honors. The trouble began when Jim started his first day on the job. Here's how the caper came down. This is a designated no parking zone. Don't you know who I am? I'm the mayor. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. I scan my data files and find no reason to exempt you from breaking the law. Have a nice day. Bulletproof? That machine is... Only doing the job he was programmed for. After all, you did break the law. Ah. Congratulations, uh, Robot Jim, for graduating to rookie status. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. No hard feelings about the ticket I gave you? Oh, you're only doing your duty. Keep it up. Glad to have you aboard, Jim. Glad to be here, Barricade. Jim, you'll work with us until you're assigned to a regular precinct. I'll try to make you proud, Officer Checkpoint. When I was in the Marines, we could have used a few good robots like you. And who said old computers can't change their chips? He's certainly not the instant machine he was. Like when Highway tried to arrest Ms. Demeanor. I will take over now, officer. I can handle it. The new law says that I must handle it. Besides, you should have read her her rights. You didn't give me a chance. Your excuse is not acceptable. Take off those handcuffs. Okay. Fine. She's all yours. Crime fighting's not gonna be the same with these guys around. What are the charges? Armed robbery, discharging a firearm in a public place, resisting arrest, reckless driving, damage to public and private property, inciting a riot, and general mayhem. This fifth court hereby declares misdemeanor innocent. 
of all charges. I remember the first time I met Jim. Could I have a word with you, officer? Prisoners are not permitted to talk. Are you nuts? The first rule of a good negotiator, create a bond with the enemy. Silence. You know, you remind me of a favorite toy I had when I was a kid. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, it was a kind of robot that could play different games. That sounds like a model 1159 Speedbot. A primitive toy, but a lot of fun. It was my favorite, too. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually hearing this. What Mace and Big Boss didn't realize was the artificial intelligence in the machines gave them the ability to make their own decisions. It's not too late. You still have a choice. If I let you go, I won't be deactivated. I promise. You seem like an honest cop. I know you'll keep your promise. That machine is letting us go. This is some kind of fluke, right? There are always nonviolent alternatives to resolve conflict, Mace. Let's find Vargas. Say, I think we really hit it off. Wanna take in a movie? Wanna play a game of chess? A few adjustments and you might end up on the force after all. Yep. I think old Jim is gonna make one fine police officer. And a good day to you too, sir. That briefcase full of jewels must be heavy. Let me give you a hand. <laughs> Congratulations, rookie, on a job well done. To be thwarted by one of my own machines. It's, it's criminal. The instant justice machine worked for you once, big boss. And they will again. That machine is now a cop. When I first built him, I inserted a secret code so that I could always regain control. Uh, what's he talking about, Big Boss? 
He means that rookie cop machine is going to help me pull off the crime of the century. Working late, Jim? A few minor circuit repairs. That ride with Thermal Two-Tone shook up my gyro system. Well, don't stay up too late. We have crowd control duty at the beach tomorrow. Good night, Officer Barricade. Sleep well. Good. He's alone. Uh, what you gonna do, Doc? I'm not going to do anything. He is. He's going to tell us exactly where every cop will be tomorrow. Jim and his team are assigned beach patrol. Let's reassign them to the Central Bank Armored Car Test. Uh, but why do that, Doc? Because, my meager-minded friend, Jim is going to help us pull a robbery. Now sleep tight, my mechanical misfit. Tomorrow is going to be a black letter day in cops' history. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be assigned a beach patrol. Someone rescheduled the computer. Must have been Bullock. No one else has that kind of authorization. Hurry with that big money, gentlemen. This is a dry run to see how fast you can move it. Yeah. Uh, excuse me a moment. I'm glad this is only a test run. I'd be worried if that was real money. It's only paper. I checked it out myself. Okay, partners. Let's get this show on the road. Cuffs! Barricade, come here. Jim, take over for a while. Look! That's real money! Jim, you were in charge. What's this all about? Yeah, I'd like an explanation. Hey! Jim! What's happening? Open it! Jim! Besides, this is not the planned route. Something's funny. Where's Jim heading? Huh? When were the paper scraps switched with the real thing? The answer is simple. They weren't the paper scraps from the start. Does that mean Jim lied to us? Looks that way. Why? What for? We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> I think he's taking us on a detour. What's happening? Trouble. It's Dr. Bad Vibes and Crusher. <laughs> well, they're not getting this money without a fight. Okay, Crasher, turn it on! Right, Doc.
Somehow, Dr. Bad Vibes got into your program, but you've got to fight it. Now, Doc. Now, Prussia. Unpleasant dreams. Well, what about the rookie cop machine? He served his purpose. We don't need him anymore. Dr. Bad Vibes got into your program. Fight it! Congratulations, rookie. I am a cop! <laughs> one for me, one for you, and for Big Boss. Yow! Who's there? Me. Me? Who? It's the rookie cop machine. I helped rob the bank. I want my share. <laughs> you only helped because I had your secret programming code. You're too nice a machine to be a real crook. That's what I wanted to hear. Jim, you're still a cop. In that case, you three are under arrest. Yeah? I don't want to leave the party so soon. here. Your vacuum sucked up one of these homing devices along with the money. Smart, but not smart enough. I still have the money. Yikes! Yeah. Now I do. He's just an ungrateful tin can. Take care of him. Jim. 
Even with Dr. Bad Vibes counter-programming, you managed to prove yourself a credit to the department, Jim. You're being assigned to the Metropolitan Division as a full-fledged police officer. Thank you. I always try to be a credit to the cops. Congratulations on your new duty, patrolman. We've made sure you'll never be reprogrammed again. Thanks. A tear? I didn't think robots could cry. Must be a leak in my hydraulic system. Must be. Instant Justice Machine Jim went on to become one of Empire City's finest policemen, much to the big boss's chagrin. Cops file 41050, the case of the iron cop in the wooden crooks. Case closed. Cops, roll call, highway, mainframe, long arm, Bowser and Blitz, Sundown, Hardtop, Mirage, Bullseye, Mace, Barricade, and they call me Bulletproof. These are Empire City's most wanted crooks. Berserko, Rock Crusher, Misdemeanor, Turbo Two-Tone, Dr. Bad Vibes, Nightshade, Use caution in apprehending. Cookie jar! <laughs>